Hey everybody, good morning. It is frigid cold and in this video I want to come and give you an update on how I'm doing with the Anchor Solix C1000. This thing is such a beast. This little tiny package contains so much power, so much usefulness and productivity that you wouldn't even believe it. It is an amazing power station and I'm going to show you an upgrade that I've got for it right now. It is super early in the morning and I ran this power station down to 0%. It is dead empty. So I have been using the C1000 with one anchor 200 watt solar panel. This back here is the anchor 531 200 watt solar panel. It's a four fold portable solar panel. And I'm gonna give this power station the most solar power that you can put into it. And I'm gonna upgrade it with two more solar panels. So let's get to it right now. So right here in these boxes, I have two more solar panels. That's gonna increase my solar power for this power station up to 600 watts. So I've been using the C1000 with just one 200 watt solar panel to put these buildings up behind me. I'll insert a little time lapse of the work we were doing with that power station. We used a framing nail gun, a full size air compressor, and used the Solix C1000. It supplied energy to the air compressor all day long running off of just one 200 watt solar panel. It ran that air compressor all day long running the framing nailer to put these buildings up all day long with just the one solar panel. But now what I want to do is I want to hook up all three solar panels, a total of 600 watts going into the power station and see just how fast it charges. It is early right now. It is 8.17 in the morning. So that power station is at 0%. I'm going to hook up all three panels and see how quickly that solar station can charge. We have the new panel comes with a little package for wires brand new shiny nice clean solar panel in the box you have a solar panel cable here it has xt60 connectors on the end this is what plugs into the solar panel and into the power station. You get a little user manual in the box. And this here is the foldable solar panel. It's a four fold panel. Oh yeah, that's a lot of power. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and I'm gonna see how long it will take one 200 watt anchor panel to charge this from 0% all the way to 100. And it already looks like it's going to charge fully by the end of the day today. It's at 7% right now. It's been charging for a little bit. It's about 9 o'clock. It says it's going to take 6 hours to fully charge this. So we should be in great shape with just one panel. And then tomorrow, I will run the power station all the way back down to zero. And we'll charge it up to 100% with three panels. And we'll see just how fast this thing can charge simply off of solar. We're up to 10%. It is 9.09 a.m. right now. Sorry about the wind. I'm gonna throw up a little screen capture right here so that you can see what's happening with the system. We got 156 watts coming in. It estimates six hours and 18 minutes till this thing is fully charged. And that is off of just one 200 watt solar panel. So that is very feasible. If you only wanna have one panel, you can keep this thing charged every day. But we'll be back tomorrow to see what it does with three panels on it. It should take only a couple hours to charge. One thing I love about this power station is the app that goes with it. The app is great. It has Wi-Fi connectivity and Bluetooth control so that I can control this from anywhere. I don't need to be near it as long as it's on the Wi-Fi network. I can turn on and off inputs or outputs on it, the AC panel, the DC panel. 
I can turn those on and off and I can check the state of charge from anywhere that I'm at as long as this thing's connected to Wi-Fi. Just as a little side note, I'm puppy sitting for a friend right now and I just wanted to show her because she's so sweet and cute. She's amazing. I love her so much. This is Moxie. And she's a blue healer. Oh, buddy. She's going back home to her dad today. <laughs> but I've really loved having a puppy to uh, hang out with and love on. And she's loving on me, too. She loves my beard. <laughs> Ow! No biting my face. We want a dog so bad. So that might be coming soon to the homestead. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put her down because she's getting a little crazy. Oh, she's a crazy puppy. Moxie, what are you doing, baby? Hi, hi, buddy. Oh, Moxie, what are you doing? Come here, come here. Oh, she's a good girl. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh, she's a good girl. Okay, now off the solar panel. <laughs> I'll show you a screen capture on this side of the screen, but we are at 62% right now and the anchor is uh, going to be fully charged in 2 hours and 36 minutes. It's 1244, so we have plenty of time to get a full charge on this power system going from 0 to 100 real quick. So that is pretty much it for the day. We are at 94%, still charging at 110 watts or so 109 watts i will put up a screen capture right here so you can see on the app uh how far we've come uh it's gonna take it says about 36 more minutes to complete charging the power station which is right here it's also great as a little work stool it's a very sturdy thing so you can sit on it no problem it is at 94 percent and i'm about calling it done because it has been an extremely windy day today and there has been several times that this panel has blown over and been face down, not charging. So I think it would be pretty much 100% by now if it had been up facing the sun the entire time. I think I've lost a little bit of time. Who knows how long it was down before I noticed it. I've been putting roofing up on our buildings. You know, there's been a lot of uh, downtime not a lot, but some here and there. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, it is 2.13 in the afternoon. That's an important fact. It is 2.13 p.m. We were able to charge from 0% all the way to 100 in less than a day. Um, the sun is getting pretty low. Of course, it's getting into winter. So the angle of the sun is really low. And this thing still charged up fully in under one day. So with three panels, I am assuming that this thing is gonna be fully charged in about two hours, maybe a little bit more, but man, it's gonna be a fast charge once I, once I have all three panels hooked up to this thing. My assessment is that you could totally use this as your main power source, uh, especially if you get the add-on battery and a couple of solar panels. Man, you will be able to run everything off of this i mean it's an extremely powerful unit for being such a small package 1800 watt inverter that will run most anything it ran my air conditioner in our school bus so i'll be back tomorrow we will hook up all three panels i'm going to run this thing down to zero percent overnight and uh we'll see how well it does tomorrow with all three panels hooked up Okay, so here's something that I want to try out. This is our new Ninja Air Fryer. It is plugged into the Anchor Solix down there. And this thing sucks a lot of power. I think it's 1800 watts. The Anchor Solix is also uh, 1800 watts. So it might be able to do it. I don't know. I'm going to turn it on right now. And uh, see. Oh, there we go. Uh, I got some pork chops in here. I'm going to cook up some pork chops tonight for dinner with a little lemon pepper on there. And I just want to see if this thing will run it. So uh, we'll put this up to uh, 400 degrees. I got to set it 15 minutes. This is the moment of truth. I'm going to hit the start button and we'll see what happens. It's on so far. It's showing 1600 watts on the 
Solix, so we'll see. Yeah, everything is going crazy. It's all, it's like a jet's taking off. But it's handling it. It's putting out 1,657 watts right now. And it's handling it. This thing is such a beast. That Anchor Solix, it's run my air conditioner. It's run air compressors. Uh, it's just, it's got a massive capacity. Let's see, it says it'll run for 24 minutes at this rate so that's just enough to cook our pork chops and hopefully uh have a good dinner <laughs> it's doing it that's crazy <laughs> i had my doubts but it's really it's, it's working it's doing awesome i'll check back with you when it's done and i'll show you the roasted pork chops in the air fryer and let you know how the anchor did well i think it's gonna make it it's got four minutes left 400 degrees the anchor is on 16% right now. It's hanging in there. It says it has 0.1 hour remaining. It might just make it. We are down to the final seconds. We got eight seconds left and the anchor is on 9%. So I did not start at 100, but here we go. There we go. Finished cooking, you can hear it sizzling inside. The little anchor Solix did excellent, sitting at 9%. I did not start at 100%. I started at like 70% or something like that, and it still had enough power to cook my pork chops. So let's do the big reveal, see what they look like. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Seasoned with a little lemon pepper. Very nice, very nice. Can't wait to eat. I don't think we're going to last very long, but as a little bonus, I decided to start it back up, put some leftovers in the air fryer, and heat them up to go with our pork chops. This is what our roasted pork chops look like for dinner. Mmm, buddy. They look good. Hopefully this hangs on for just a little bit longer so our leftovers can be warm too. We got some Indian food. We got some beef stroganoff and some rice. Oh yeah. I put it on for eight minutes and this thing is on 2%. It's still kicking out full power at 2%. It's so impressive, like that is amazing. I'm not gonna get the full eight minutes of reheating for my leftovers, but it'll be enough. It'll be warm, it'll be edible, it'll be just fine. It should be shutting off any second now though. This thing has been kicking for a while. It's crazy. Well, I wanted to catch it at the moment that the anchor shut off, but it didn't shut off. It ran the full eight minutes for heating up these leftovers. And when I started, it was only at like 7%. We'll open it up, see what it looks like. Oh, the noodles got a little bit crispy. Maybe the rice too. But that's pretty awesome. I can't believe it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got three of the Anchor 200 watt panels set up behind me. I have the Anchor Solix C1000 right here. We're gonna turn it on. Okay, the Anchor is at 2%. I ran it all the way down to 2% last night. So it's very low. It's not at zero. It's not at 1%, but I mean, it's empty. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to plug it into the solar panels. It's 920 in the morning. I got all three hooked up with a splitter cable and I'm going to see how long it takes with full sun to charge this up to a hundred percent. As you can see, I got a little bit of shade just right there in that bottom corner. I was waiting for them to get out of the shade and be in full sun before I plug it in to see how long it's gonna take to charge this up 100%. Take my cable, pop it in, and boom, we are off to the races. It's hard to see because of the reflection on the screen, but we are charging right now at 220 watts. We got all three panels hooked up, and we'll see just how long it takes 
to get this thing up to 100%. It's saying an estimated time of 4.9 hours right now, but that's gonna change a lot when the sun gets a little bit higher in the sky. As you can see, it is very low right now because it's early in the morning and uh, it's only 9.20 a.m. So I just checked on the Anchor Solix and it is at 100% right now. It may have been there for a little while because I was busy doing other things, but it's 1230 right now. So with 600 watts of solar panels, three 200 watt Anchor Solix uh, solar panels, it charged up from zero to 100% in about let's see 12 30 to 9 30 about three hours so that's pretty impressive fully charged in three hours and it's looking good i can plug this in side use it for all sorts of other stuff make some dinner whatever i want to use it for it's ready to go shoot i have enough to use it today and then charge it again and uh, fill it back up i'm gonna go ahead and unplug this solar panel cable just drape it over the panel right there and take this inside and use it to make some food. With three of the panels hooked up, it charged so fast, it was 100% by uh, 1230 in the, in the afternoon. I decided to do an experiment. I brought the anchor inside and I cooked up some food uh, with Ellie inside and totally depleted the the power station it went back down i think it was at four percent when i brought it back out here and hooked it up back to the panels the time is 207 right now and the anchor is at 23 percent it's bringing in 326 watts and i bet you this thing will be filled up by the end of the day today today's a nice clear cloudless day so it says it's going to be fully charged in two hours and 36 minutes, which is plenty of time before sunset. It, it, by that time, it'll be only like 4.30, 5 o'clock. So these uh, panels should fully charge the anchor power station by the end of the day. Two full charges of a 1,000 uh, watt hour battery in one day. So with one panel hooked up, just 200 watts hooked up, it was able to fill the power station in one day. But there's no way it was going to do it in twice in one day. Two full charges in one day, no possible way. So uh, these, these three panels here is definitely enough power to like live on. That power station has enough power to provide everything that you need. It's pretty crazy and it provides a ton of power. It's a really stout, powerful, small power station. It's really impressive. I've been impressed with it over and over again, using it on all different tasks around the property. I would like to thank you for watching this video and be sure to check out the link in the description of this video below because there are amazing Black Friday, Cyber Monday sales from Anchor that you can take advantage of if you need a power station in your life. One of these power stations with these solar panels could easily power your van, an RV, anything like that. And with the expandability of the system up to 600 watts of solar panels and an additional battery that will be able to expand the battery storage in this system, it's just a winner for me. Uh, I highly recommend the Anchor Power Station. Just to throw it out there, this video is sponsored by Anchor. They provided these products to me at no charge, but I have reviewed a ton of power stations, and this is in the top 1% of the power stations that I've ever tested over the life of my channel. The Anchor Solix C1000 is a two thumbs up, five star, highly recommended product. I know I didn't pay for this product, but if I was to have to buy one, knowing the knowledge of all these power stations that I've tested along the way, the Anchor will be at the top of the list for sure. So be sure to check the pinned comment or the description of this video and follow my link to the Anchor Power Station at an amazing deal on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Go there now if you'd like to take advantage of killer deals for the holidays. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the information I put out about this power station and the testing that I did. So if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in another video right down the road.
that sun has gone away and I didn't quite make it to 100% on the second charge of the day today. On the anchor, we got to 63%. If I had been on the ball, I'm sure I could have gotten it to 100%, two charges in one day, but I just was working on other projects. I spent time cooking with this, so there was a lot of downtime where the sun was out. I could have been at 100%, but I think it is totally feasible, 100%. Two charges to 100% in one day, absolutely possible with this system. The three anchor solar panels can totally do it. That means if you're using this as your sole source of power, you can use it all through the day and still have carryover all through the night. Have it 100% by the time the sun goes down, use it through the night and be able to turn it on, still have power to get you through the night. It's an awesome system.